Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series, Dragon Age Inquisition. Finally, an RPG on my channel. I have not played an RPG on my channel for a very, very long time. I'm very much looking forward to this. Hopefully, it's going to be amazing. It's got pretty good reviews so far, so I'm very hopeful. Um, so, I played the original Dragon Age, but I haven't played any since. I loved the original Dragon Age. I don't think I played it on my channel. I think this was back before I started my channel. I can't even remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was back way before I started my channel. Um, my timeline is all messed up on the Dragon Ages. But I haven't played any since. Also, this is going to be the first game I'll be playing in 60 frames per second on my channel. Hopefully, everything goes well. Uh, we'll see. I have set some stuff up already in the settings. I've turned subtitles on. I even went through like the opening scenes and stuff just to make sure everything was running okay. Uh, that's why it says continue instead of new game, but we are going to start a new game. Um, and I'm pretty sure it keeps your options. <laughs> so hopefully that's the case. Let's go. Okay. That's an explosion and a shield in your face. Uh, so we have a character creation to do first. And there are four races to choose from. So the humans. Humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Thetis. They are also the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. That is not true. Human characters receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. A bonus ability point. Okay. Elf. Elves are historically oppressed people, distinguishable by their little, their lithe frames and pointed ears. Though most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities, others live as nomads, known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to ranged defense. Interesting. Dwarf. Dwarves are short, stocky, and most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the surface are often merchants and smugglers. Sound like my kind of people. Because dwarves have no connection to the Fade, they cannot be mages, but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense. Ooh. The Canari. The Canari are a race of horned giants. I like the sound of that. Who follow a strictly or a strict religious text known as the Kun. <laughs> or the Kun. Ooh, that's a dangerous word to say. Kun. Let's go with Kun. Those who have abandoned its principles are known as Tal Vashoth and often work as mercenaries. Canari character characters get a bonus 10% physical damage resistance. Huh. I am leaning towards... I mean, I would typically pick human, but I'm leaning more towards the dwarf or the Canari. I like the, the horned giants really got me. I'm assuming... Yeah, that's the female characters. We want the male characters. Um... Or I want the male character. Uh, I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to go with Kunari. Why not? Okay, so Rogue Dual Wield. Rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor using skill and an advantageous position. I figure the Kunari is a horned giant. They're probably not going to be relying on their speed and agility. So forget the Rogue. We're going to go Warrior. Oh, and then there's Mage. Capable of, okay, mages channel magical power into spells capable of a wide range of effects from de debilitating opponents, protecting allies, or unleashing devastating elemental energy. Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities and their rebellion against chantry control. What? Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities and their rebellion against chantry control has left the land in chaos. I figure the Kanari would be a warrior though, right? And probably like a two-handed... Axe-wielding warrior. Weapon and shield. What are they? Okay, warriors are frontline combatants. Yes, able to withstand incredible punishment in heavy armor. Yes, they are proficient in the use of two-handed weapons like mauls and great swords. Yes, but may combine a smaller weapon with a shield for added defense. Yes. Uh, oh, difficulty levels. So I've played before for players new to role-playing games. No, for players interested in a balanced but challenging gameplay experience. That sounds like me. Looking for seasoned players. Hmm, I'm not very seasoned in the ways of role-playing. We're going to go normal. Uh, Tal Vashoth Mercenary. Okay, so this is my outcome, I guess. My character creation outcome. Followers of the strict religious philosophy of the Kun, the Kunari, appeared, to, appeared like a tidal wave to the north of Thetis 300 years ago. You are Talvashoth, a Kunari who has rejected the Kun and never even lived in Kunari lands. Well, crap! I wanted the full Kunari experience. As part of the Valo Cast Mercenary Company, you have earned a living by your own wits and the strength of your blade, ignoring the fearful looks you receive from those around you. Most recently, the company was sent to the Chantry Conclave as hired swords meant to keep the peace between mages and Templars, a task that has gone horribly wrong. 
Well, that sounds fantastic. World State Import? No. Uh, okay, confirm, I guess. Warriors can take more punishment than other classes because of their high armor and guard abilities. Good. Searching reveals nearby loot, codex, entries, and crow. Oh, well, then. That's me. Oh my god, I look frightening. Okay, character appearance. Oh, I like those horns. I don't like that one so much. Uh, it's between one and four. I think I want four. I just hope I can help. Oh, that's such a nice voice. Coming from a guy like that. Um, Is that it? I don't know. One looks pretty cool, too. I'm pretty sure you can, like, change characteristics. I like the horns on four, but I don't like the face <laughs> on four. Can I custom? Yes, I can. Okay. General. Face shape. Doop -doop -doop. Oh, these face shapes are bad. I guess this one's the best one. Skin tone. Let's go with... I like the pale skin tone the other guy had. Complexion. Oh, you can get like... Oh, the freckles look kind of cool. I like freckles. Freckles are so good. I don't have any freckles. Maybe it's because... Maybe that's the reason I like freckles. I'm jealous of the freckles. Eye color. Let's, ha let's give him some eyes that look like... This guy has seen some stuff, man. Oh, these, these greens look intense. Horns! Oh, look at this. Well, then. I could have changed them after all. There's, like, gold-plated horns at the end. Look at that. There's, like... That is so cool. I don't know if I want gold-plated, though. We're not, like... We're not fancy, Kanari. We're... We're... Working class Canari people. Oh, so many horn options. I like these, though. These. Yeah, that looks so mean. Okay, hair color. Definitely want a dark hair color. White, white is way too freaky. Like that. That looks almost blue. I don't like that very much. Maybe a dark brown. I like the dark brown, actually. That's good. That's good. Beard. I can give him a beard? <laughs> oh, yes, I can. Hello, beard life. Beards for life. He's definitely going to have a beard. This guy has seen some stuff, man. This one looks meaner. Yeah, it just looks... This one looks too sparse. Maybe just a mustache. Now, mustache looks silly. You know what? I'm changing my mind on the beard. It looks kind of dumb. I think possibly we're just going to go clean shaven. Yeah, let's do the clean shaven look. The voice we have. I just hope I can help. Where? Okay. You leave me no choice. I don't like that voice very much. How much is this going to cost me? There's only two options. I'm going to go with the bottom one. Okay. Back. Head and ears. Okay. I'm going to do this off camera because I'm going to probably get into some detail here. Give me a sec. There we go, guys. This is our hero. I've changed a few things. I have no idea how different it is from the original guy. Uh, but I added some scars. I added a bunch of little stuff. Bunch of tweaks everywhere. But I like the way he looks. He looks menacing yet gentle and docile. Let's accept the changes. Oh, his name is Karas? No, let's call him Daniel. Why? Because that is my name. And it still sounds medieval-y, sort of. Oh yeah, he looks mean. I like him. What in the world is that?
What in the world are those? Those are some serious shackles. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Okay, so here are our is our response wheels. Uh, click to select a response on the dialogue wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, really select response by any other way. Um, that's horrible. You think I did it or remain silent? I don't know what's going on yet, so let's just remain silent. Explain this. Oh, the glowing hand thing. Um, hmm. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is. Or how it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. Uh, alright. Some dialogues give you the opportunity to respond emotionally to situations. When these opportunities appear, special icons will highlight the emotion tied to the response. So let me go is like a powerful, angry response. I'm confused, a cerebral response. What now is sort of like a come at me bro response. And all those people, the sad response. I'm confused. I don't understand. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me and then a woman. A woman? She reached out to me, but then... <sighs> Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. Okay, show me. He looks such such a sad panda right now. Don't be sad, dude. I'm a, I'm a big dude. Holy. We call it the breach. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. That would ruin my day. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads. And it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. So we got, if I can help, I will. Will helping save me? Do I have a choice and investigate? Investigate. How could it, how could it stop? How could it stop this? You still think I'm guilty. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. 
It is our only chance, however. And yours. Well, if it's my only chance, if I can help, I will. I understand. Cassandra then, approves. I'll do what I can, whatever it takes. That's good. Now, get me out of these shackles. Oh, where are my shackles? Am I roped up now? I think I'm roped up. Yep, that's that's a rope. This guy could break through that rope. Come on, dude. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. Well, crap. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. Just cut me loose. Oh, I'm there gonna punch so many trial. faces. I can promise no more. There will be a trial? Come. It is not far. Where okay. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on Ooh, something. Oh, look at all these. Okay, Codex unlocked. A lot of stuff happening right now. The Wrath of Heaven. Get to the rift with Cassandra. Lots of stuff down here. Some potions. We got some hotkey number things. Uh, WASD to move. Oh, that's okay. So I don't strafe with A and D. That's interesting. You can also look around by holding. Oh, I can strafe like that. That's kind of what I want the default look to be. And then I can do this. Okay. The rift. Open the gate. Open the gate. The click the eye on the compass. What? No, not click. The eye on the compass indicates your quest destination. Right there. Okay. Um, can I, like... This is so weird that I can't control it with the mouse, but I guess I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get used to it. What is this? Hey, what are these people? Hey, they're just running away from something. Can I pick stuff up yet? No, I don't think so. Man, that that is not good. Whoa! Oh, that thing hurt my hand. That scared the crap out of me. They're lifting me up. What a nice lady. The pulses are coming faster now. Okay. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything Oh my god. Stay behind me. Give me a there's a weapon, 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 weapon. Weapon. Grab it. Grab the weapon. What are you waiting for? Grab the weapon. What is this thing? Oh, two-handed long sword. Uh, basic attack. Press R or right mouse button to attack. Okay. Hey, I pushed it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you gotta hold it. So it's not just click? Oh, it didn't work the first time. Hold R or R continue or cl click continuously to attack. I saw. What? It doesn't seem to be working. That's so weird. Why? Oh, maybe because it was friendly. Maybe I was too close to her and it would have hurt her. I think. I don't know. It's over. Drop your weapon now. Whoa, 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 lady. All right, I'll disarm. You need to trust me. I need this weapon. A demon attacked me. What was I supposed to do? You don't need to fight. What? Are you saying it won't happen again? You're right. You're damn right I'm right. I cannot protect you. 
and I cannot expect you to be defenseless. Oh, give me some props, lady. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Yes, remember that. Okay, press 9 to consume a potion and heal the potions. controlled character. Num nums! Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own for now. Alright, well, let's keep going then. Loot! Okay, that's not looting. How do I loot? How do I. Oh, I right click on it. Take all. Uh, Rashvin Vitar. Rashvin Vitar. It is f five damage. Common Vitar. Item level three, three percent attack. Restriction. Canari trained only. Requirement level one. Press I to open the inventory and examine your loot and equip items. Ooh, armor. Okay, so I just picked this thing up. Can I? What? So like. Drag it, drag it, that's what I do, drag it. Okay, that's cool. Mercenary coat. I have two mercenary coats. That one's better. 44 armor rating. Warrior only. Yeah, they're exactly the same. I guess the other one is damaged or something. So helmet, oh, they, you can get specific stuff. That's cool. So, what else? Armor weapons. I only have the Raider Greatsword. That's a 68. And it does 60 damage, 11% armor penetration. <laughs> Accessories, I got nothing, obviously. Upgrades, nothing, obviously. What else we got? Crafting materials, valuables, weapon schematics, armor schematics, recipes. Okay. That helmet does not look like it fit me. I have not I'm not wearing it. Abilities. Abilities consume mana and stamina for powerful combat effects. Most abilities require time to pass before reuse. There, watch out. Uh mighty blow one. Crumble nearby foes, doing more damage to already down foes. So press tab to lock the camera on your current target. Tab and then one. That is cool. I can't do it again. What about two? What's two? There we go. Searching reveals nearby loot, codex entries, and crafting nodes. Searching. Crap, I missed that. How do I search? This? Ah! Interesting. So is there loot here? How do I know where there's loot? I may have... Hold on. Like, I want to know what, what sort of gives it away that there's loot, you know? I think I passed some dead bodies up here. Is there loot here? Aha! There's loot here. So let's see what happens if you push... Oh, I see. Sixty-five gold. Oh, man, this guy was rich. Okay, I gotta get used to like controlling it like this, and then having my mouse free to click stuff, especially loot stuff. Anything? We going up? Okay, hold on. One. Okay, I got you, you disgusting jerk. How's my health? Oh, oh, oh! Is it, oh, this guy. I got it. Oh, I, I pushed one. I did not mean to push one. I apologize. Game. Interesting. So, what's the hotkey for that V? Yeah, it's V. But I could just be walking around and just do this every once in a while. I'm gonna go loot crazy. I think you gotta be still for it to really work. 
No, maybe not. Loot! Give me loot! I like loot. What are you? They're falling from the breach. Oh, okay. Let's get down there. I got this. Oh, uh, oh, war cry. Taunt nearby foes and build guard to absorb damage. He's taunted. If I tab, it locks onto him. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how do I... <gasps> no! You have been damaged. <gasps> oh, I did that again. I keep pushing one to do the... The loot thing because it looks like it's on the one key, but it's not. That's a V. I should probably take a potion. Yeah, we're good. I can carry eight potions. I know there's nothing here. I'm just going over here because you never know. Loot. Loot. Ca Aha! You see that? 52 gold. Some shiny ice over here. Is there a way to sprint? Guy looks like he's wearing some fancy robes, man. Let's go up these stairs. Close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. Whoa. We can't go through here. Oh man. There you go, guys. I got this. Okay. Loot! In the middle. Oh, couldn't pick up the loot. Look at this guy. Quickly! Before more come through! What did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. So I can help? I did that? You mean the mark? Why does my face have war paint all of a sudden? At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Oh, was that all? Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. She does not like him. <laughs> um, pleased to meet you. Nice crossbow. What now? You're with the Chantry? Are you with the Chantry or <laughs> Was that a serious question? Yes. Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. Pleased to meet you. Nice crossbow. What now? That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I... <sighs> Bianca. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Do we now? Disgusted My voice. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you. While you slept. Uh, thank you. You can do that? I'm no use if I'm dead. Um, thank you, I guess. Then I owe you my thanks. 
Thank me if Slightly you approves. to close the breach without killing you in the process. Interesting. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I've seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. You are a very small man. Dwarf. Okay, codex unlocked. There. Okay, so where is my codex? This way, down the bank. The hold on, ahead. lady. Hold on. You must move quickly. Attack. Hold my position. Clear commands. Interesting. So I've got a group of people now. That doesn't help. Me. Hmm. All right. Let's move forward. They cannot be mages, but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense. Ooh. The Canari. The Canari are a race of horned giants. I like the sound of that. Who follow a strictly or a strict religious text known as the Kun. Or the Kun. Ooh, that's a dangerous word to say. Kun. Let's go with Kun. Those who have abandoned its principles are known as Tal Vashoth and often work as mercenaries. Canari character characters get a bonus 10% physical damage resistance. Huh. I am leaning towards... I mean, I would typically pick human, but I'm leaning more towards the dwarf or the kun. I like the the horned giants really got me. I'm assuming, yeah, that's the female characters. We want the male characters, um, or I want the male character. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy. I'm gonna go with Kunari. Why not? Okay, so rogue dual wield. Rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor, using skill and an advantageous position. I figure the Kunari is a horned giant. They're probably not going to be relying on their speed and agility. So forget the rogue. We're going to go warrior. Oh, and then there's mage. Capable of... Okay, mages channel magical power into spells capable of a wide range of effects from de debilitating opponents, protecting allies, or unleashing devastating elemental energy. Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities and their rebellion against chantry control. What? Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities, and their rebellion against Chantry Control has left the land in chaos. I figure the Kanari would be a warrior, though, right? And probably like a two-handed, axe-wielding warrior. That's me. Oh my god, I look frightening. Okay, character appearance. Oh, I like those horns. Don't like that one so much. Uh, it's between one and four. I think I want four. I just hope I can help. Oh, that's such a nice voice coming from a guy like that. Um, is that it? I don't know. One looks pretty cool too. I'm pretty sure you can, like, change characteristics. I like the horns on 4, but I don't like the face <laughs> on 4. Can I custom? Yes, I can! Okay. General. Face shape. Oh, these face shapes are bad. I guess this one's the best one. Skin tone. Let's go with... I like the pale skin tone the other guy had. Complexion. Oh, you can get like, oh, the freckles look kind of cool. I like freckles. Freckles are so good. I don't have any freckles. Maybe it's because, maybe that's the reason I like freckles. I'm jealous of the freckles. Eye color. Let's ha let's give him some eyes that look like this guy has seen some stuff, man. Oh, these these greens look intense. Horns. Oh, look at this. Well then, I could have changed them after all. There's like gold-plated horns at the end. Look at that. There's like... That is so cool. I don't know if I want gold-plated though. We're not like... We're not fancy Canari. We're, we're working-class Canari people. Oh, so many horn options. I like these though. These. Yeah, that looks so mean. Okay, hair color. Definitely want a dark hair color. 
white white is way too freaky like that that looks almost blue I don't like that very much maybe a dark brown I like the dark brown actually that's good that's good beard I can give him a beard oh yes I can hello beard life beards for life he's definitely gonna have a beard this guy has seen some stuff man this one looks meaner yeah it just looks this one looks too sparse maybe just a mustache now mustache looks silly you know what I'm changing my mind on the beard it looks kind of dumb I think possibly we're just gonna go clean shaven yeah, let's do the clean shaven look. The voice we have. I just hope I can help. Where? Okay. You leave me no choice. I don't like that voice very much. How much is this going to cost me? There's only two options. I'm gonna go with the bottom one. Okay. Back. Head and ears. Okay. I'm gonna do this off camera because I'm gonna probably get into some detail here. Give me a sec. There we go, guys. This is our hero. I've changed a few things. I have no idea how different it is from the original guy. Uh, but I added some scars. I added a bunch of little stuff. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series, Dragon Age Inquisition. Finally, an RPG on my channel. I have not played an RPG on my channel for a very, very long time. I'm very much looking forward to this. Hopefully, it's going to be amazing. It's got pretty good reviews so far, so I'm very hopeful. Um, So... I played the original Dragon Age, but I haven't played any since. I loved the original Dragon Age. I don't think I played it on my channel. I think this was back before I started my channel. I can't even remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was back way before I started my channel. Um, my timeline is all messed up on the Dragon Ages. But I haven't played any since. Also, this is going to be the first game I'll be playing in 60 frames per second on my channel. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, we'll see. I have set some stuff up already in the settings. I've turned subtitles on. I even went through like the opening scenes and stuff just to make sure everything was running okay. Uh, that's why it says continue instead of new game, but we are going to start a new game. Um, and I'm pretty sure it keeps your options. <laughs> so hopefully that's the case. Let's go. Okay. That's an explosion and a shield in your face. Uh, so we have a character creation to do first. And there are four races to choose from. So the humans. Humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Thetis. They are also the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. That is not true. Human characters receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. A bonus ability point. Okay. Elf. Elves are historically oppressed people, distinguishable by their little, their lithe frames and pointed ears. Though most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities, others live as nomads known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to ranged defense. Interesting. Dwarf. Dwarves are short, stocky, and most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the surface are often merchants and smugglers. Sound like my kind of people. Because dwarves have no connection to the fate, weapon and shield. What are they? Okay, warriors are frontline combatants. Yes. Able to withstand incredible punishment and heavy armor. Yes. They are proficient in the use of two-handed weapons like mauls and great swords. Yes. But may combine a smaller weapon with a shield for added defense. Yes. Uh, oh, difficulty levels. So I've played before for players new to role-playing games. No, for players interested in a balanced but challenging gameplay experience. That sounds like me. Look, for seasoned players, hmm, I'm not very seasoned in the ways of role-playing. We're gonna go normal. Uh, Tal Vashoth Mercenary. Okay, so this is my outcome, I guess. My character creation outcome. Followers of the strict religious philosophy of the Kuhn. The Canari appeared to appeared like a tidal wave to the north of Thetis 300 years ago. You are Talvashoth, a Canari who has rejected the Kuhn and never even lived in Canari lands. Well, crap! I wanted the full Canari experience. As part of the Valo Cast Mercenary Company, you have earned a living by your own wits and the strength of your blade, ignoring the fearful looks you receive from those around you. Most recently, the company was sent to the Chantry Conclave as hired swords meant to keep the peace between mages and Templars, a task that has gone horribly wrong. Well, that sounds fantastic. World State Import? No. Uh, okay, confirm, I guess. Warriors can take more punishment than other classes because of their high armor and guard abilities. Good. Searching reveals nearby loot, codex, entries, and crow. Well, then. 